everybody welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you are new today i'm so freaking excited because i finally get to try on some clothes that have been just sitting on my floor bugging me because I just want to try them on. So I recently bought some clothes from a company called ThreadUp. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, it is a online thrift store. Super cool because if you have that itch to online shop, you can do that, but you can buy clothes that are already made. They're already out there and just reuse them. So I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. This isn't necessarily a first impressions review on them because I did purchase from them like a little over two years ago, but that was a little over two years ago. It's been a minute. Back then, my friends and I were kind of obsessed with this company. <laughs> the first order that I got from them, like 50% I liked and then one thing I ended up sending back I don't necessarily remember how well like the returns went but I think I got money back so I mean that's good but then the second time I ordered from them I liked every single piece I got so that was cool but it's been a long time they have updated their website a good amount as in like they've added a lot of things there's accessories now and I really don't remember that there being like sunglasses and stuff like that maybe there was but I don't remember it. But like I said, I did love the company a lot. <laughs> a lot. Back then, so I wanted to try them out now since it's been over two years and see what kind of luck I have now. Anyways, I could probably say a lot more about ThreadUp, but it is time to try on what I got. And I am, I'm ready. I am so ready. So let's go. Compared to my orders like a little over two years ago, like I said, this order is a lot bigger. Last time I only got four items on each orders. This one, I think I ended up getting 11 different things. I ended up getting two like summery dresses, hopefully can wear them for like vacation, some shorts, some tank tops, a sports bra, and two pairs of shoes. Oh, and some Fabletics leggings. This is going to be fun. I got a big variety of stuff to try out. I did open up everything already because I wanted to make sure that I got everything and everything was in here because it ended up coming in three different packages. So it did take a little bit longer because of that, but I wanted to make sure I had everything. So I have seen everything, but I have not tried anything on even though it has been so difficult not to. I was this close to trying on a pair of shoes. I had to stop myself. I was like, Kendra, no don't do it. First is a tank top and it is from American Eagle. I got this in a size medium and I think I ended up putting like some discount on. Yeah, I got like $65 off with a discount. I think it was 30% off, but before that discount, this tank top was $7.99. Here's what it looks like. It's a purplish color, purple, pink. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a purpley pink. And the back is really cute. It's kind of like strung up a little bit. It's like tied a little and then it comes back together at the bottom. I actually didn't think that this would be as cute as it is in person. Like when I took this out of the package, I was like, ooh, okay, okay. So I have a feeling that this is gonna look cute. So let's try it on. <laughs> okay, the back of this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I think this needs to be tied a little bit though. There. Does that look better? Ta-da. I like the back. I don't know. The front is okay. It's all right. It's not too bad. And it kind of fits tighter than I thought it was going to. I would probably wear, like I'm wearing a bralette with this. I would probably wear that. I like it. I think the front could grow on me. It's not too bad. Okay, but I really love the back. That's cute. First thing, A plus. I didn't think I'd have much trouble with the tops. I think my most trouble is going to be with the shorts I got. Okay, the next thing I'm going to try on is a pair of shorts I got. And I am worried about these shorts. They are GJG, which, sorry, but I don't know what brand that is. GJG, uh, denim shorts. They're super cute. I love this wash. I don't have any kind of shorts like these, but there's a fly. <laughs> there were measurements on the website, which is cool that they do that. They give you measurements of the item. And the waist seems a bit small than what I measured myself, but I'm hoping it stretches and it seems very stretchy. See, look at that, look at that. 
There's promise. But all I can do is try them on. Also, by the way, these, I got these in a size medium and they were $16.99. Let's, let's just hope that these fit. Okay, what, how? Okay, they are a little, <laughs> a little short back here. They kind of like do this thing where it's like sh really short here and then it gets a little bit longer. I love the wash of these. I actually love they fit in the waist like really well. So I guess I must have been overestimating what I thought. I don't know, but this is, this is good. Oh my gosh. I was worried about these for no reason, but then that kind of worries me because I got another pair of shorts that aren't the same measurements they're a little bigger so hopefully they'll be okay <laughs> we'll see also by the way these shorts are just like super comfy i don't even think i said that they are very 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 comfy the next thing i'm going to try on i think is a shirt because i have two other shirts besides this one let's try on the kindle and kylie one <laughs> so i got one that's from kindle and kylie's brand i came across it i was like there's no way i'm not getting this it is a medium and the price was $8.99 so here is the top. It looks super cute. I love the color. And also something I forgot to mention about thread up. So this is actually kind of important. So you know what condition you're getting the clothes in. Obviously there's pictures, but sometimes the pictures look a little bit better than in person. But something cool they do is that when you look online and I think it says like under, I think it is like condition. <laughs> Let me double check. Yeah, it says condition and then it will either say this item is in excellent condition. You might mistake it for brand new. It might say it still has the tags on it or it could say that there's, you know, minor signs of fading or maybe there's like a stain on something. Like it will tell you what to expect when you get something. Anyways, back to the tank top. I really, really like this. I think it's going to be cute. It's like a crop top and it's V'd on the front and the back. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> I knew I'd like this. This is just cute. I love the color. It's crop top. So I definitely wear it with like some high-waisted shorts, which these are. The black bralette doesn't look too bad, but it is blue. <laughs> so I think I have a maroon bralette that would probably look really cute with this. There's the back. Yeah, it's super comfy too. I love crop tops and like tank tops that are made out of this like sweatery, stretchy material because it just looks cute. It's super comfy and it looks like a sweater, but it's not. And I love sweaters. <laughs> How are we three for three right now? I appreciate it. I appreciate that things are working out, but there's bound to be something that doesn't work out, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna try on a different pair of shorts. And these shorts are from Gap. They are a size six and they were $18.99. Here is how they look and, oh, I was about to say, and they have the tag on them, but it's just a thread up tag. <laughs> These are definitely longer than any shorts I probably own. I think they're supposed to be high-waisted. When I looked up shorts, I specifically looked for high-rise shorts. So hopefully these come through and they are high-rise because I really just want some more of those. I'm nervous about these because these are significantly bigger than the ones I have on. But we gotta, we gotta just hope. Okay, actually these fit. <laughs> They fit nice and tight. They aren't as stretchy as the ones I just had on, which I liked how stretchy they were. They don't fit too bad up here, actually. There is, there is some gapping, I guess, which I hate when that happens, but it's nothing, it's nothing I'm not used to. Especially just like with a little belt, maybe. This could definitely look really cute. And it's high-waisted, hallelujah. They look kind of like mom jeans, but like shorts version. And I don't have anything like this, so I am super thrilled. How is this happening? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> I just now realized that these shorts are a pain to sit down in. Oh my gosh, why are they so tight? <laughs> it's just not very stretchy. That's what it is. These just don't really stretch that well. I still like them, but let's just hope I'm not sitting down a lot in them. 
Next piece is a tank top and it is from the brand Garage and it actually still has the tag on it. So the tag says $14.95. I got it for $9.99 and this is in a size medium. I thought that the straps were gonna be like the clear kind of straps. The picture just didn't do these straps enough justice, I guess, I don't know. And it does look quite see-through. It also looks quite cropped, but I don't know. It's cute, I like the color and I like how simple it is. My bralette may be a little much for this though. It may be better to wear like a nude bra because this black one may look like too textury and I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Okay, it's definitely not too bad with this bralette, but you can see, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can tell. There's like a line because my bralette's has a line on it. But besides the point of that, I think I like this. And it's not as short as I thought it was gonna be. It's like kind of right above my belly button. <laughs> Why did I laugh like that? <laughs> It's not like a super stretchy material. It is kind of stretchy, but like it's not like super duper comfy or anything. I don't know. I just really, really love how comfy this was. But I like this. It's cute. It's simple. How am I having this much luck? I thrifted online and I'm having this much luck. This is scary. Okay, next thing. Should we try some Fabletics leggings on? Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually try on the leggings and the sports bra together. I made sure that I looked up Fabletics because I just really wanted to try out their leggings. They have ads everywhere and I've heard great things about them and I've heard not so great things about them. So I was like, what better way to kind of peek into Fabletics than to just thrift some. I ended up getting these leggings for $17.99 and they are in a size medium. I don't know how I feel about the pattern. It's just like there weren't many options <laughs> and I didn't hate this one. I think I can get used to it. I just don't have any patterned leggings at all. So this is like a new realm for me. I usually just like plain stuff. Then the sports bra. I've been needing a new sports bra because I have two of them that I have been using for a while, but sports bras can be expensive especially like because I want the ones that are really gonna hold me in that have padding and are like decent quality the ones I have right now are from Victoria's Secret or pink and so when I was looking up sports brawls I actually found some from Victoria's Secret and that is what I ended up getting and this one is really interesting so oh yeah price $23.99 still kind of expensive and what it does this is I wasn't expecting this because it doesn't show this so it unzips which I knew but on the inside obviously it's gotta unzip too when I didn't even think about that well I guess it doesn't unzip but it like unhooks like there's an actual built-in bra and luckily the sizes were just like bra sizes it wasn't like a small medium or large so I actually actually got my bra size, so hopefully it fits pretty well. Okay, first of all, this sports bra. So I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I think I need to adjust the straps a little bit because it is like a little too tight. Like you want sports bras to be tight, but it is maybe a little too much. I don't know. But the one part that's kind of bothering me is this like underwire. This has underwire and I'm just, ah, it's just kind of weird. I'm just not sure how I feel about that. I think this is just gonna have to be a thing where I test it out like actually working out and then see what happens. I guess this is the first thing that I'm feeling like hmm on but it's like I still like it. It's just like one little thing that's possibly gonna annoy me when I work out. Okay let's move on to the Fabletics leggings. So these don't feel fit great around my waist, but they fit pretty great like everywhere else, which is very, very nice. I don't mind the pattern, you know? I like it a little bit more than I did. And the best part is I'm pretty sure they hold up to their standards and they are indeed squat proof. Also, they're like, what is it called? Um, is it quarter length? I don't know, but they go to the middle of my calf here. I feel like leggings are just another thing that I'm just gonna have to test out. Okay, I just decided to throw on like a Marvel tank top. <laughs> Let's get into these dresses. So I got two dresses. The first one I'm going to be trying on is this one from a brand called Solaris. It actually has the tag on it, but the tag doesn't say the price. Here's the top. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like 
I think gonna go like on the stomach area and I was worried that it wouldn't have like padding in it but it does it's just like styrofoamy padding which is kind of weird I've never seen felt this like weird padding usually it's just like a cloth kind of material so that's interesting and then the waist ta-da it has a zipper in the back it's very long it's a long dress it has a slit on the side and then like the actual inner part doesn't go down all the way this dress i got for 16.99 also this is medium i forget if i said that or not let's go alrighty guys we have run across our first problem <laughs> this dress is fitting very odd the padding things are like up here and i don't know how to like how to push the paddings down but i don't even think that would help because this dress is just not tight enough <laughs> i mean it's cute and the waist part fits the bottom is cute but the top part is just not doing it. <laughs> I really wish that I was like missing some hook or something to make this all come together, but I'm just, I'm just not. I'm just not. I may end up trying to return this one, which is very, very sad because I was so excited about both of these dresses. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that I don't flash you guys by just not showing you. The next dress, which I'm really, really hoping fits, is Trisha Fix cocktail dress that's the title on thread up but it also said free people so i'm pretty sure this dress is from free people it would make sense because this dress was originally 72.99 i would not pay that i don't i don't have the money to just pay 73 dollars for a dress so i ended up getting it for 22.99 this is the one that i was actually the most excited for and it looks really cute it's in a medium and it says dry clean only <laughs> We know that's not gonna happen. It is like this. It goes around the neck. These are see-through, but I think I'm gonna be wearing a bralette. I have one that's like really close to this color, the like orangey color. So I think that will be pretty. It's another very long one and it just, it looks cute. I don't know. I really like the pattern. It has like golds, browns, and coral, a little bit of blue in it. So let's try this dress on. Hopefully it works better than this kind of crazy one that I have on right now. So this was definitely a task to get on because it has a zipper and then you gotta like clip it so the zipper stays up and then you gotta like tie it and then there's the whole necktie thing but oh my gosh it is so worth it that dress not working is fine now because this dress is gorgeous like okay first off this little cinch here love it and my bralette matches so well with this it's like it was meant to be i don't know if it kind of looks weird in the back because my bralette's like above the line but i don't really care it's just gonna be that way okay now let me show you the like bottom part here's part of it should I stand on a chair to like actually show you? <laughs> Let's try not to fall in a dress. There we go. You still can't see it all the way, but it's really close to the bottom. So yeah, let me make a little turn. There we go. Whee! Ta-da! Even though on the like description it said this was like a formal dress, I think it looks a lot more like just like a sundress. So that's what I'm going to be wearing it as, and I love it so much. Let's move on. I have not four. I have two more items and they are both shoes. If you didn't already know, I wear size 11 shoes. So no, it is not fun to look for shoes because all the places that are like cute and cheap, I mean, not necessarily good quality, but cute and cheap, they never have 11s. They always only go up to 10s. And so it sucks. <laughs> so I was like, what can I do? I'm going to look on there and thrift some shoes. What's really concerning is the fact that I got a European size and on thread up, I have my size in there because you can tell them your size and then it just shows you clothes in your size so i put in 11 and it came up with european size 41 but getting these shoes first of all super cute sneakers look at these they were 17.99 but they look so small 
okay? And I am so concerned that like the European size didn't translate exactly right and these are too small. So we're going to, going to figure it out. Okay, I want you guys to know how great of an illusion these are. My toes are literally like this right now in the shoe because they just, they don't fit. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. My foot's already cramping. That's what's happening. I'm like scrunching my toes together. <sighs> thread up why you do this to me i'm so frustrated if only thread up would have given me the right european size we wouldn't be in this situation would we <laughs> the other shoe that i got is not a european size it is american size and I realized the one thing that would look really cute with this dress and that I don't have are wedges. I got some wedges and these were one of the items that actually wasn't in the best condition. They are Tom's wedges and I can't like click on them now, but I'm pretty sure it did say there were signs of fading and a little bit of stains, but from the picture it didn't look too bad. So I got them, they were $23.99 Toms, which I've never owned a pair of Toms. And I didn't know they made like wedges and stuff. Here they are, ta-da. Probably doesn't look too bad from like the camera. And they aren't too bad. The only thing I didn't know it was sparkly. Can you, yeah, you can see it. So they are sparkly. It's like a pale pink color. Right there, you can see a little bit of orange coming through. So that's like a little bit of the staining, I think. And there's some on the side that's blue. And then the other part is just like in the front and up here a little bit. It's like got a little staining. I don't know if they like clean the soles like crazy, but there's no sign of wear on the soles. Ooh, darn it. My toes don't go up enough to cover that little stain in the front. It's not a huge deal though. It could be a lot worse. Now let's stand and see. Oh, okay. This dress that I have on just touches the floor with these on. Ta-da! Here they are. They're cute. I like them. When I walk though, I kind of like, it kind of comes up a little bit. I don't know, maybe I need to tighten this strap a little more. I would rather them be like a little bit bigger than, you know, the ones I just tried on where I can't even get my foot in them. <laughs> But that is everything that I got from ThreadUp. And overall, I feel pretty good about it. There was obviously some things that just didn't work out, but we had a pretty good run at the beginning. <laughs> which is nice. And this dress almost makes up for it all because I think this dress is just gorgeous. I don't have anything like this and it just makes me so happy. I'm probably going to try to return the sneakers and the dress. My final thoughts, again, this isn't like a first impressions of thread up or anything, but I do still like thread up. I love that you can shop online thrifting at the same time and there's a lot of stuff on there. The few things that are frustrating obviously is the European sizes maybe not being exactly accurate. Another thing that has to do with like the online part of it. Things stay in your shopping cart for only an hour <laughs> before they disappear. Now, when you're looking on ThreadUp for hours, that's when it gets kind of difficult. <laughs> and it's great because other people can get a chance to like take it and grab it and go. But when you're the person who loses it, it's definitely not fun. <laughs> but to conclude, I love ThreadUp. And yes, even though I'll be returning some things, that's not the company's fault. It just doesn't work, except the shoes. <laughs> I would order from them again. I would recommend trying them out, especially if you've never done any kind of like online thrift shopping and you like online shopping. So that's it. That's all my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that. Also give this video a thumbs up so I do know that you enjoyed this. Don't forget to follow my social media accounts. They are at the beginning of this video in the description box below or everything is at it's Kendra Sue. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.